something as scary. It's called a house of terror, guys. You probably can't see us, but you can hear us. <laughs> oh my god. Gabrielle? Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Goodness. Gabrielle? Gabrielle? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. That was so spooky. I think more. Sorry. <laughs> that was an ex. <laughs> that was an experience. That was really good. Mom, that was scary. Oh, it was, yeah. huh? It was scary. Wait, people are like this. <laughs> you didn't even. Was that fun? Yeah. It was so scary that I want to go back in there again. <laughs> oh my god. It was pretty scary. It was pretty scary. It was scary, yeah. It will be that scary. Wow. Wow. Daddy. Huh? That's for digging. It's starting to spit a little bit. The girls are gonna go on that course after and ride those bikes around. Have a little race. We forgot to mention to you that we weren't sure if we were gonna come out to this um event. So Michaela actually went to a she went out to her friend's house and that's where she's at. So she's missing out on this fun. She would have loved the haunted house though. Would have been pretty cool. And we're gonna go on that train after. That is so cool. Look at that. There you go, guys. <laughs> Voila, yeah. I invented this myself, guys. That's more like it. That's huh? true, we didn't use them at all yesterday. Everyone still has their tags on their umbrella a whole day later. Girls, why are we stalling? It's pouring. And we're not getting soaked, guys. <laughs> we picked up these umbrellas last minute yesterday on our way to the zoo. But we didn't actually use it because it didn't rain very much. And we're out at another event today and it's pouring. We didn't even choose our pumpkins yet. No, we gotta go do that still. So but think, they're washed. I think I guess, you just. You guys wanna go get another refreshment thing? You can sit underneath um, the tent. Yeah, you can sit underneath the tent and stuff until. You go over there? And there's a big pavilion. Did you guys want to go feed the animal quick before they bring it inside? Sure, yeah. These two feasting on cotton candy. It's a feast! How is it? Look at that. Take your time. Ah. I'm gonna close my umbrella. Because it looks really awkward. Yeah, how is it? Mm. I know this song. It's a true song. 
yeah, they play like all these old school church songs since I've been here. That they play in like, you know, in my parents' church. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I recognize it. You did, right? I did, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't get this oh, right. I'm I can't sorry. get this right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just got you dirt just on it. You my shoe. No, I didn't scuff you it just up, but I got up my dirty. Head. I got dirt on it. Ah, this here. is not working here. out. Here, here. Today I actually wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to share um, just some of the girls' responses to their devotion. So we do have these devotions which I showed you guys before. They are the student planners and then um, each day we go through and read the passage and the where it's taken from and just a little synopsis or um, sentence to go along with it and then we fill out our own devotion. So I wanted to share the girls' devotion you guys seem to have really liked it the other day, but so I'm going to let everyone share their devotion. So I'm going to read quickly what this passage is about today. It's Isaiah 30, verse 21. It says, um, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. God has blessed us with his words, his spirit and his people to encourage us to not turn away from his commands. Are you walking in the way of the Lord? Or have you turned aside, even slightly, to the right or to the left? Hear his gentle voice even now. This is the way, walk in it. So I'm going to share, let the girls share. Um, so Gabrielle kind of just read hers. And I thought it was really, really good. So I'm going to have her read it for you guys again. The Lord, our God and Savior, always wants us to walk, follow, and trust the path that he is giving us. For the Lord would love it if we could be in heaven with him. And that's because he cares about us. The Lord knows that there will be a time where we will have to make choices, and some of those choices will be about and based on God. But the Lord trusts you, for he hopes you will do the same for him, and live an eternal, eternal life with him. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, and then Charlotte went, so I'm going to have Charlotte reread hers. Go, Sarah, go. I think I am following the right path of God, even though I sometimes am not on that path. I want to be... Sometimes I'm not on the path I want to be in. I am not on that path when I do ungodly things. I still have to learn how to not get distracted and stay on track. Even though I can't always be perfect I never not, and never not do ungodly things, you just have to do your best and to follow God's way. Very, Very good. good. Thank good you, job. And My turn, finally! <laughs> Thank you. Go. Let our eyes not deceive us and our ears open wide to hear your word. May every sinner accept your blessing and walk in your path. I have been walking in the footsteps of the Lord, and I am doing better at being kinder to those around me. Although I have my flaws, I am still doing better. I have turned my head left and right so my ears can accept your word. Very good. Thank you. That's awesome. So there you guys have it. That's the girl's <laughs> devotion for the day. And we just wanted to share the word with those of you um, who enjoy this chapter. Uh, this is a very important part for our lives and we want to continue to grow in it. And that's why I think it's so important to share, share it with you. So there you guys have it. That is, those are the girl's devotions for the day. These are things that they write all on their own. I basically just read the devotion um, passage that it's taken from and I read the passage that goes along with it and then we all kind of just venture off, write our own devotion for the day and then we share it in a circle. So um, 
Yeah, I think it's really interesting because I really the girls always surprise me with their answers and their responses to their uh, journal and the questions. So it's really, really neat. If you are a Christian homeschooler and you're not using these, you should definitely check them out. It's by Bible League Canada. So I don't know if you can get it in the U.S. I'm sure they have Bible League U.S., but they're really good um, planners that complement really well with homeschooling if you want to implement some of these, like, you know, the biblical aspect um, or devotions into your learning. So yeah, definitely check them out. I Let me know also if you enjoy this part that I include here and there. I was thinking of including um, a section of this where we shared each of us shared our devotion at the end of our vlogs. Let me know if you think that's a good idea because I think like... I just, I don't know, I really enjoy the idea and that from, I don't know, I think it might just be interesting. So just let me know what you think. Comment down below and let me know what your thought is on us, including our daily devotions at the end of our vlogs or some, maybe even in the middle. It's subserve as inspiration because like I said, I want our vlogs to be fun and interesting and all that stuff, but I also want it to serve a purpose. So yeah. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> it's this guy's birthday today. Hi. <laughs> He's about to open his gifts. We nice didn't do card. any formal wrapping, as you can see. It's a nice card envelope. Here goes How do you know? Here. How do you know what's in it? Wow. This is a card for someone special. That's what it stands for. Special. I know. It's, <laughs> it's not a race. Oh. It's for a bonus. Your I love saves the day every day. Happy birthday to my amazing husband. From the chick. You like oh, it? That's nice. That's beautiful. Oh, that's for Superman. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very nice. Here's a little oh. gift in there. There's a little gift in here. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. I've seen these. That's very cool. You, so it's a, you can film an X Wing. <laughs> Good uh -huh. luck with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No glue or, so, or solder needed. No. Or solder. I pronounced that. We right. want it yeah. to be comfortable. So it'll, be cool. it'll be cool. pretty cool. It's we can try to do it later, maybe. Right? Yeah, me, like, little yeah that's really cool. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>